Well, you all voted, so this is what you're getting. For this video, I'll be brainstorming how to translate certain Pokemon into the anime-esque, real-time combat of Yokai Watch Busters. Now, I'll have two main rules for this idea. Rule number one is that I will not be creating new moves and skills. I will only be using moves, skills, and effects that only exist in the Yokai Watch Busters games. Second rule is that I will do what I can to try to keep each Pokemon unique from each other, just like in Busters. It's recommended you have a basic understanding of Yokai Watch Busters and Pokemon to better appreciate this video. So let's start with Bulbasaur. D rank, Heartful, Drain Attribute, Rare, Healer. I'm not giving the starters the skill that makes it so their strength and spirit are increased when their HP is low. That would just make them overlap way too much. Plus, Pokemon fans tend to prefer their hidden abilities anyway. So to replicate Chlorophyll, I'm giving it the skill that boosts its speed when it's charging its moves. It's much more consistent than relying on weather anyway. Gets one of the staple healer moves, Restore, to recover HP. Drain to replicate Absorb, Mega Drain, and Giga Drain, and so it can be a bit more more of an offensive healer if it wants. Poison in Spirit to stay more in line with it being a poison Pokemon and to replicate the powder moves it gets. I gave it Usapien's Laser Beam Sultimate. That way, it could be more like the Pokemon Adventures manga as well as the anime with it using Solar Beam. Next, it jumps up to C rank with Ivysaur. I replaced Poison in Spirit with Healing in Spirit, that way it'd sort of be like Leech Seed. I changed its ultimate to a multi-hit so that it could use its vine animations for that, sort of like in the anime and in Smash Bros. Finally, with B rank, we have Venusaur. Now with Circle Restore, it can heal more allies at once, and even more so with its healing ultimate. Moving on to another beloved starter, we have Charmander. D rank, Brave Tribe, Fire Attribute, Rare, Fighter. There's no equivalent to Solar Power in this game. So we're just going to give it a passive to increase its fire damage. Dodge to avoid incoming attacks. Offensive stance to give it a power boost. And fire so it can fire off its fiery magic attacks. Giving it a multi-hit physical attack ultimate seemed appropriate so it could use a claw animation. Up next is Charmeleon at C rank. We replace dodge with fallback attack. Then we give it blitz attack as another move option, and change its normal A button attack to triple attack. Reason I did this is because Charmeleon's Pokedex entry says it uses its claws to fight. This will let it do precisely that. Finally, we have Charizard at B rank. With the stronger Blaze and a Fire Sultimate, it can dish out more fire damage. I gave it Whirlwind for coverage and to respect it being a flying Pokemon. Moving on to Squirtle, D rank, Slippery Tribe, Water Attribute, Rare Tank. Just like the other starters, Rain Dish is reliant on weather. So we're just gonna let him passively regenerate his HP anyway. We'll give him Guard for one of the staple tank moves. Bring it on to attract more attention if it wants. And Torrent so it can do water damage. Couldn't really think of any Sultimates that would work better than a Water Sultimate. Now we evolve into Wartortle at rank C. Wartortle is supposed to live very, very long, as well as being very tough. Iron Guard and Discouragement will help it be exactly that. At last, we have Blastoise at B rank. We'll give it Disarmament to take advantage of more offensive opportunities. The stronger Water Move Rapids works perfectly for it, since it uses an animation that would be perfect for Blastoise's cannons. Well, that's all the movesets I came up with for the three Kanto starters. What did you think of these movesets? Let me know in the comments below. And you have a great day besides.